Hello and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at August 20th, 2024's Anti-Diagonal by Clover. Clover is one of our sellers here at Gas HQ. So am I. My name is Bill Murphy. It is my honor, nay, my pleasure to be solving this puzzle for you today. Uh, we are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve our own uh, genuinely approachable Sudoku. Uh, and we put a new video up every day for you. You can find the link to this puzzle description down below. You'll also find some hat times. Two hats for a very fast time, one hat is for a pretty fast time, and everyone gets a dinosaur, because we love you all equally. Um, yeah, I'm wearing my overalls. I've literally just come in straight from work. Uh, if you hear a bing noise, um, it's because I'm air frying some chicken wings. Uh, and also, don't forget to drop your hat times in the comments, because, well, uh... Betty gets a pat every time uh, for every hat scored. She gets pats anyway. It's fine. Um, but that being said, let's get into today's puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, each marked diagonal, like this, the duh, must contain exactly three different digits, such as three, seven, or eight. Um, that's it, that's all you need to know to solve the puzzle. Um, let's get into it. Don't forget to give it a go before you watch me go. Um, I've done this puzzle already, it's lovely. Um, you're gonna have a great time. So, uh, let's look at this first diagonal. Now, it definitely contains, it definitely can't have a one and a two. It can't have a three and a four, and it can't have a five and a six, because that would break one of those boxes. So the only possible combination for it is seven, eight, and nine. Now, uh, seven must go there. So let's clear a bunch of this out. So this is nine, this is eight. Uh, we'll take the seven out, and we'll take the nine out of this one. Now, uh, we can do a bunch of Sudoku around the grid. So let's do that. Four and four up here mean that four must go here. Five in the, uh, can't go in those two cells. So five must go there. Uh, three over here means that this is six and this is three. If we look down here, where does three go in box nine? Well, it can't go in any of these cells. So three has to go there. Where does two go? Two can't go in those, that cell or that cell. So two must go there. Four can't go in this cell. So this is one and four. Let's have a look at uh, column five. Where do three and four go? Because three and four see both of these cells. Uh, three and four must go there. Uh, meaning this is two and five. So two and five. We know which way around these go. Uh, meaning this is a one six pair and we know what must go on uh, our, technically I think we call this the negative diagonal, not that it matters a huge amount. But where does one go on the diagonal here? Well, one can't go in those two spots, so one has to go there. Uh, this is a six seven pair. We can actually resolve it because we have a six over here. Seven and six, eight and seven, nine and seven, and uh, this is now oy, uh, six, and the one here tells which way uh, that that must be seven. We already have a six in uh, row eight, so oy, that's a six. Uh, now let's do some Sudoku. To, to, well, we've done literally everything apart from the Sudoku, so let's just do more Sudoku. Six in column one can't go in any uh, row one, can't go in those cells. Six must go there. Uh, it's, sorry, um, I have the TV muted in the background, um, and, uh, the lady on the TV, I think I own her shirt, um, five, no, it's a different shirt, never mind, uh, it's very similar, uh, one and six go there, where does, uh, one go, well, one can't go in those two cells, so one must go there in row nine, we have a five telling us which way around five and two go down here. Um, four, eight, nine over there. Uh, eight can't go in those two cells because we have an eight there and an eight there. So this must be eight. Uh, four and nine left to place. Four down here sees that cell. So this is four and this is nine. 
three and four. Uh, three, eight, and nine left to place. Uh, nine can't go in those two cells. That's not the easiest way to do it, but that's fine. Uh, nine there, three points down here. So eight and three go like that. Uh, this is three and five. Three goes that way, five that way. Uh, oh, I still can't quite undo this just yet, but that's okay. That's two and eight. Uh, five and nine this way, five. Ah, that's going to do the damage. Five and nine. Eight, nine, two, eight, and what are our last two digits? Two and four. Uh, one, three, and six this way. We have two threes. So three goes like that. Uh, six and one and nine. Uh, only digits go in that cell is an eight because we have every other digit in the column. Uh, one goes there. Four here. So that's six and four. Uh, it's seven and nine. We know we have the nine in box four telling us which way around that goes. That's an eight and a seven, and then five and two. Uh, this has been a pretty short video, but that's okay. Um, this has been Anti Diagonal Sudoku by Clover. Um, I hope you enjoyed that puzzle as much as I did. It's just some really lovely, clean, classic Sudoku, um, with a little bit of a twist, and that's okay. Um, I'm Bill Murphy, signing off, uh, wherever you are in the world. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.